Now I must say that this by far was my favorite episode of this season besides the duet. The duet will always be my favorite episode 17. But episode 21, you know, it was, you know, it goes down as one of my favorite episodes just because it reminded me so much of season one and why I started watching The Flash in the first place. Like, you know, we don't get to see stuff like this anymore just because season three is just so dark and so gut-wrenching and stuff like that so you know it was it was a it was a breath of fresh air to see <coughs> damn it was a breath of fresh air to see barry and iris happy for a change and hopefully hopefully in season four we get to see them happy like that again so let's get right into it it's like looking in a mirror well not quite not so scary without your armor. What can I say? I outgrew red. I know what you are. You're a time remnant. A temporal duplicate created when you run back in time and meet yourself. You brought a remnant to life last year to defeat Zoom. Your duplicate died, saving the multiverse. And you continued your happy little life. And it would have stayed that way. But then you decided to play God. You created Flashpoint and changed everything. I went to the future. My future self told me that he created time remnants to stop you. That you slaughtered them all. All but one. So he's that one time remnant. I lived. But a funny thing happened when I did. You, Joe, Wally, Cisco. You all shunned me because I wasn't the true Barry Allen. I was an aberration, a disposable hero. You he know, technically you are. That didn't he? How did you become Savitar? I was broken and alone. I wanted the pain to end. And that's when I realized the truth, Barry. God feels no pain. All I had to do was become one. And I only need two more things. For Iris to die, so that you are driven so far into the dark that I can be born. And the other? It may sound ironic, given who I'm talking to, but I'll keep that one to myself. This is the first time where I don't know what he's talking about. He gonna keep what's in himself. Well, I'm, I'm confused about that. Cause and effect's a tricky thing. Didn't work so well for Eddie, did it? Shot himself in the chest. Dawn's still kicking around. See, that's the thing about time travel, Barry. The more you do it, the less the rules apply to you. See, this part didn't make any sense to me because when he said, what if I kill him too? What if I kill myself? He was so quick to give an answer like, oh, um, no, because it won't work because, um, it won't work because, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? But in the episode, Barry lost his memory and Savitar did too. So anything that affects Barry affects this time remnant. So why wouldn't it work if Barry tried to kill himself? That's what didn't make sense to me. My suit's cooler than yours. Transformer, robots in disguise. Oh my god, this car was so sick. Woo! They got special effects and stuff now. Bro, that was sick. And so Cisco basically says, oh, that's that's why Caitlyn was so willing to help to help him because she saw that it was Barry. And then that's why the 20 
56 version of Barry said, don't trust Savitar. Barry tries to stop Savitar by creating time remnants of himself. And so he's a time remnant and Savitar saves one time remnant and that time remnant becomes Savitar. And so it's just an instant loop of that time remnant becoming Savitar. And Joe asks like, which one came first, Savitar or the time remnant? And Cisco was like, um, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg. Like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Like, yeah. people be dead arguing about that. Like, so, I gave up on it. You wanna give me a perm? It's not for your hair, Steel Magnolias, it's for your brain. You get it, Steel Magnolia? You remember that one movie with, uh, with uh, Julia Roberts and her mom was a hairdresser and they always used to do hair in her little shop and they, they gossip and stuff and then the daughter ended up dying and, and then they did a black version with Queen Latifah. If y'all don't know what Still Magnolias is, man, y'all are, uh, y'all, I don't know. <laughs> able to retain new information. There's two types of memory, Alan, short term and long term. The long term is for you. Okay, Julian, this, stop. This is my presentation. I'm the expert here. This is the part of your brain that retains new information before sending it to the cortex to be stored forever. So what if we block that chain with a magnetic disruption? So Savitar won't be able to remember whatever strategy we come up with to defeat him. Which means he can't be two steps ahead of us anymore. Well, then any luck will actually put him one step behind. Beautiful. Cause and effect. Barry, what do you think? Let's do it. Wait, He's willing to do anything to save her, man. Brains around here. He a good man. But this is something... Because anybody else would have gave up. I sure would have, like, dang, I don't know. You just don't die. You won't feel a thing. Okay. Get the show on the road. The disruptor is attached to your hippocampus. So, let's try. Okay, ready for zapping. Can we not call it zapping? Ready to. Oh, I like Cisco hair. Three, with his little two, co wash. One. I have watched you be in love with Iris. Maybe we were meant to be together. Okay, that should do it. Right. <clears throat> How do you feel? I feel fine. You see? He feels fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that part give me every time. Like, uh, boy, what you doing? Who's Barry? Not fine. Then, bro. I was, I was like this. What's going on? Seriously, who are you guys? Okay, Barry, stay calm. Who's Barry? Cisco. Slight miscalculation. Slight wouldn't be a word I'd use. Where the hell am I? Is this a dentist office? No, no, this is Star Labs. Star Labs? A laboratory? Star, well, a laboratory? What are you... Are you guys experimenting on me? No one is ex... Well, yes, technically, yes, but, but it was consensual. You were? Yes. You... Why can't I remember anything? Why can't I remember my name? Your name is Barry. My name's not... Bear, you know what my name is, but my name's Bartholomew Henry Allen. That's not a good name. Kind of not a good name. I don't go by Bart. Can Bart <laughs> is natural to me. Can we go with Bart? Bart's yeah. Future. Okay. The okay. hey. future. Let's just get you back in the no, chair. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not he said Bart, Bart, people. No, how do I know you didn't? Just be prepared for that when it comes up again. Brain surgery on me, or maybe you're like those criminals who trick people into hotel rooms so they can steal their kidneys. <gasps> I still have my kidneys. We don't want your kidneys. Okay, Barry, look at these photographs. We're, we're your friends, your family. She sure had them pictures quick, yo. Just she was like, pay. Barry, look. <laughs> when did you have the time to pull that out? That's a nice ring. Who's a lucky guy? You are, Barry. She was so I know you're scared, okay? You can trust us. Cisco, a minute. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be right back, okay? Wally, stay with him, okay? Me? So how do we know each other? Oh, uh, I'm your brother. Baby daddy! <laughs> you know what? 
let me just say this in the movies and in real life when you have amnesia or whatever you never trust the first person you see because nine times out of ten the first person you see is the person that gave you the amnesia and they really trying to kill you am i wrong in the movies that's what be happening and then someone comes along like they're trying to kill you come with me and you get in the car like oh this is the person that's really trying to save me you know like there's a lot of movies like uh who had amnesia like hardcore henry that nigga had amnesia he didn't know what was going on this lady was like oh i'm your wife or whatever and we love each other oh, la, la, la. and then she ended up being evil so you never trust the first people you see when you got amnesia that's just common sense if you watch movies you would know that nine times out of ten you never trust the first person you see it's a lie they're lying they're like oh you can trust me we love each other we love. I, this, 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 I would if i would bear i'd be like that could have been photoshopped I don't know y'all. Why would I be in the lab? So we find out that Barry doesn't know he's the Flash, blah, 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 blah. Tracy and HR like each other, blah, 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 blah. These little peach things is good, like. Barry Allen, you can call me Bart. I love that. So you said there was an emergency. Where's the fire? Ah, it's funny you should put it like that. Lucius Coolidge. Who? Heat monger. The worst arson in Central City scene since me. They be walking so fast, bro. Flash here stopped him. What's Flash? What's Flash? So, what, what is the problem? Judge Hankerson, he's got an opening in his docket, so he moved Coolidge's probable cause hearing up to this afternoon. Barry was the CSI on the case, so I need him to testify in order to hold Coolidge over for trial. I, yeah, no. Barry can't do that. Why not? Uh, what do you mean he has amnesia? Bear, what's your name? Uh... They was wrong for doing that. <laughs> they was so wrong for doing that. Oh, uh, Felicia, why? Cause she black. Cause she black. And y'all watch Friday. Cause she black. Who used his evil powers to steal Barry's memory? Um, no, we sort of accidentally did this to him ourselves. Why? That doesn't matter. What does matter is you stalling that judge. Barry is in no condition to testify in court. Joe, if Barry can't testify, Coolidge walks, and then God help us all. Okay, we figure out something. Please do. It was nice meeting you. Oh, yeah. You too. Bart. I got some friends down at the courthouse. I'm gonna go down there and see if we can delay this whole Coolidge situation, all right? I'm sorry. For what? I don't know, it just seems like everybody's upset and it feels like it's my fault. No, no, not at all. Look, we just want you to get back to normal, that's it, okay? Well, I would, if I could remember what normal is. I mean, what have you and I been doing lately? Are we planning a wedding? Like, have we sent out wedding invitations or picked a honeymoon destination? Or, am I Oh, God. Oh, she said. I'm so sad. Same, you've been a little busy lately. So. With what? Lie, girl, lie. Um, nothing that you need. Just say. Huh? You know what's weird? I know we just ate, but I'm already feeling hungry. Yeah, let's get some food in you. All right. Okay. <laughs> he always hungry. <laughs> okay, so we found out that since Barry had his amnesia, so did Savitar. And. When Kayla came, she was like, oh my God, you was always kneeling. Like, why are you kneeling? And she tapped her little nasty finger on his little helmet and he choked her little ass and put Pender against the wall, blah, blah, blah. Now, we about to watch the cutest scene of all. And that was Barry and Iris at the coffee shop. So. <laughs> yeah. Key club, mm -hmm. astronomy club, yeah. yearbook, yeah. an anime club. Oh yeah, you loved, loved Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what that is. I did too! Yeah, I couldn't explain that show to you even if I wanted to, so. Okay. Sorry. I definitely had quite the nerd thing going on, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I thought you said we were best friends in high school. Yeah, we were. Well, why didn't you give me some advice? Help me out. Oh, believe me, okay? I tried. Really? You yes. did? Okay. 
because I have evidence that you did not. Um, I don't remember any of this, but even I can see how wrong that look was. <laughs> it wasn't was even that bad. It was just his hair was messed up, but it, that picture wasn't even that bad. And the shirt was terrible, but I, you just, you're so different. You're so light. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. It's like you're not carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. So what? I was like brooding all the time before. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's really nice to see you smiling so much. I mean, how can I not? Okay. I'm be with you for the rest of my life. That's what I'm saying, Barry. That's what I'm saying. She all smitten. She all smitten and shit. Like, ugh. I gotta go to the Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I gotta. Hey, yeah. Um, I'll. Yeah, later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, before we go to the next scene, I just want to say, like, Iris is by far the most selfless person on this show. Uh -huh. Like, everyone on the show has had a selfish moment. Like, no, we could no, go down, except for, except for, shh, I'm doing a video! Mom, like, for real, you're messing up my video. You're being wow. loud. Wow. And she continues to talk. <sighs> oh. Good, As I was saying, everyone has had a selfish moment, but, Okay, as I was saying, everyone has had a selfish moment on this show, except for Iris. Iris is by far the most selfless person on the show. You can say whatever you want, but this is my opinion. Everyone on the show has had a selfish moment. Cisco has had a selfish moment by him not telling everybody that he had powers and scared and stuff like that when he could have helped them with Zoom the entire time. Kayla was selfish by keeping the stone away from everybody, even though it helped them, but then it... It helped him in the long run, but then again, it didn't because Wally. Um, Wally was being selfish by trying to get his powers by anything mess necessary and touching that little egg plant. Joe has been selfish by keeping the secret that his wife was still alive away from Iris and telling Iris that, his, that her mom died. And then eventually, when Iris and her mom were trying to have a relationship, she died. So she had to relive her mom's death all over again. Freaking, freaking Julian was selfish by freaking taking off that little that little piece of clear necklace that Caitlyn had and she ended up turning into Killer Frost, something that she never wanted. Freaking, uh, who else am I missing? HR hasn't been selfish. He's just weird. The only, yeah, Jesse hasn't been selfish, Iris, and HR. And we all know Barry is the most selfish person of all. We all know, whatever. We, we forgave him for it. Barry, if you don't know why Barry is the most selfish person of all, you need to go back and watch the show over again. This, this nigga made a whole entire world just to have his parents again. Like, if that's not selfish, I don't know what it is. And ruined everyone else's life by doing so. So, you know, I would prefer to see Iris think of herself for a chance. You know, but it's kind of too late for that. We only have two more episodes left. You know, but she never once has ever been selfish. Like, she's never once been like, okay... I would think about myself. I'm not gonna think about Barry's well-being. Like, as soon as Barry found out that he was Savitar, you know, even though it was a time remnant, it's still Barry. What did Iris do? She went right after Barry when he was upset. Like, if shouldn't it have been the other way around? Like, you the one that's gonna kill me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, whatever. Uh, the next scene is Barry at the courthouse. And that scene was very funny, but it was just long, so I don't feel like watching it. Uh, yeah, very funny. He had the glasses on and everything. It was cute. Julian was cute and that's the thing too. Whatever. Okay, so Caitlyn comes back and we don't know her reason for trying to help Team Flash. She wants Savitar to get his memory back. Savitar didn't give Caitlyn her power. She already had her powers once uh, Barry did uh, came back and did the paradox thing. But yeah, Caitlyn has her own reasons why she wants Savitar to get his uh, memory back. We don't know the reason, hopefully we find out this week. Uh, it was very creepy because Caitlyn is usually, like the Caitlyn on Earth 2, she was slightly different from this Caitlyn. Like this, like 
Would you not have been scared by Caitlyn coming back to Team Flash and helping them with Barry getting his memory back? Like I would have, I would have not have turned my back to her not one time. I don't care. Like she could have easily killed Iris. She could have easily hurt anybody. Hurt anybody. Like I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're finna watch the nasty scene from Barry and Iris. So let's watch it. No, this heat monger is gonna go free because of me, and I feel awful. Right, it's not your fault. Well, it's just that now there's a bad guy on the streets, and I can't do anything about it. What? Is that not something I would have said before? That is exactly something you would have said before. There's just something about you that always wants to help. This seems really cute. This is our place. How long huh. did you afford to live here? Huh? Yeah. yeah, you did. Here's great days. Uh, actually, yes, you do. Watch this. Was you. you would give me your whole little synopsis. <laughs> oh yeah, on that whole that. episode. Yeah. This is my sister-in-law talking. I'm not talking to my twin or anything. They're your parents. You don't remember anything he has some really big hands like why was his hands so big you know what they say yeah. about big hands it was unexpected big gloves that's why you came to live with joe and me no no but his hands was really big they actually, were like scary big uh, no actually we were friends before then i remember the first time that i saw you you were the happiest boy i ever met I'm because you and You know what, Paul? Okay. We get it, Barry, okay? We get it. He keeps saying, like, little stuff, okay? And she just acted like he ain't saying it. You know, she being real bashful right now. You know? Because had this been real life, I have to remember that this show is PG. Because... Like, you just gonna smile when he say, I think that's because you entered my life, you just gonna smile at him? No, that's not what would really happen had this been real life or had that been on HBO. They would've been like, okay, give me five minutes. Give me five, we got five minutes. That's what would really would've happened. Ain't no smiling or nothing Go be going on because this is a PG show. So they gotta be like, oh, just make it cute. Just let him say that and let her like look past him and just smile. Like, that's not real. That is not real. That would not happen in real life. I'm not gonna say what would really happen. I'm just, I'm just saying. Y'all know what would really happen. It's okay. Consent is always good, people. He asks for consent, even though that's his fiance, but he got amnesia. Oh, this part was tight. When he was walking around her, like I don't know how they did that because her clothes were still like I don't know if they if they just told her to freeze and she just stood like that or they paused her part. I don't know. It was tight because her clothes were still moving. They could have had the air conditioning on and she was just like this. I don't know. So Kaylin is helping Team Flash and they reminisce so her. And her, Cisco, and Ronnie doing a particle accelerator, blah, blah, blah. So Barry has to stop uh, Heat Wave 2.0. I forgot the man name. I don't know his real name, but I'm going to call him Heat Wave 2.0. And so we about to watch the scene where Iris is trying to get Barry's memory back. Barry, I need you to remember. Which was the cutest thing ever. Yes, yes you can, okay? Okay, listen to me. The night that your mom died... I didn't want to tell you how, but she didn't die peacefully. She was murdered. What? And you came to live with us. My dad brought you inside and... Now they know that them is not the same kids from season one. <laughs> that little boy looked like his name is Ashton or like Liam or something. And that little girl looked like her name is like Alexis. She looked like Alexis. Everybody know a girl named Alexis and she was mean when she was a little girl. That girl looked like she was mean. Crying alone. I knew I had to go to you. I sat next to you. She, she probably was that little girl in kindergarten like, my hair is longer than yours. <laughs> Everybody got that little evil girl in kindergarten. 
kindergarten when they or you were the evil girl in kindergarten. Everybody had that one evil girl in kindergarten. Like, oh, why are you looking at me? My hair is longer than yours. Like, okay. Much we needed each other. So, and look, I so wish that I could take your dark memories away. I wish that I could make all of that pain go away, but I can't. Okay, but what I do know, what I know is that for every bad memory, there is a good one that will get you through it. Barry got his memory back or whatever. Oh, yeah, Barry got his memory back or whatever. And they didn't show it, my clip didn't show it, they cut it off, but Candace Patton was crying in that scene. Uh, she started to cry, and I didn't notice it until I watched the episode like five or 10 times. <laughs> Yeah, but she was crying in that scene, so let's applaud her for giving all that emotion. Yeah. The Flash and Baby Daddy save the, save the little building. They get rid of the fire or whatever. And then Team Flash is testing Barry on his memory, asking him what's 2 plus 2, what's 5 times 3, and stuff like that. But, okay, this is the part I didn't like. Barry, Julian, and Cisco try to stop Caitlyn from leaving. They want to help her, and they're trying to save her. The, the part I didn't like is the fact that Julian was like, Caitlyn, don't leave. I love you. I'm in love with you. No, he said, I love you. Did he say, I'm in love with you? No, I think he said, I love you. Don't go. And the thing that didn't make any sense to me was like, how do you love her? Y'all not even together. Like, y'all kissed one time. Y'all went on a coffee date one time. Like, and then my thing was, like, when, have, when did y'all even have time to date because she's Killer Frost and she could be identified everywhere but the girls going to grocery stores and stuff. So that part didn't make any sense to me, the fact that he loves her or whatever. Like, why does he love her? There's no reason why he should be in love with her. Like, at least with Joe and Francie, we know that they are constant in each other's lives. Like, they see each other at work. She met his daughter and son. He met her daughter. So it's like, okay, they could be in love, whatever. But Julian and Caitlyn, like, y'all have not established anything in y'all relationship for y'all to be in love with each other. Like, I, don't, I didn't understand. That was stupid. That part was stupid, the fact that Julian was like, I love you. Don't you love me? Check one for yes. Check two for maybe. Like, what? She's gone? Yeah. Maybe too far gone now. Figure out a way to get her back. Just like figure out how to get back. I just know some. They be talking real breathy. They be talking real breathy, like you know. The weight of everything that's happened. Seeing you happy, like you were before your mother was killed. Without all of that darkness haunting you, you were finally free. It was nice. Wait a minute, so did the same thing does this Barry remember Amnesia Barry? Does he oh, remember yeah. everything that happened to him while he had Amnesia or no? I had that. I, I guess he does. I again in Flashpoint and I could have let it stay like that. I could have let the memories of this timeline fade, but if I'd done that, I would have lost Joe and Cisco and Wally and Caitlin and you. The pain and darkness, it's a part of me. You know, I need it to fuel me, to push me to be a better person, to be a better hero keep me from ever forgetting who I am. Now that is the Barry Allen I know and love. Cute. Hey, you guys got... Okay. <laughs> you guys, you gotta come see this. You, you gotta come see this. You know what? Uh, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this. Honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. Every time, we can never get a moment. We can just never get nothing. Oh. Oh. Can somebody help with this door? Hey! Can somebody Can some- Oh shit. Oh fucking- Oh my fucking- What is that? This is the Speed Force. That they wear they suit they wear their suits around Tracy like I'm try, like they she's the one that's gonna save Iris life why not trust her like y'all y'all Barry is always so quick to take off his mask in front of everybody you know so my calculator.
calculations, okay, three point eight six terajoules of energy. I'm guessing that's more energy than in a AAA battery. Yes, that's more energy than in the sun. Guys, where are we gonna find something like that? I don't know why I thought this was in a uh, Krypton. Krypton? Is it Krypton? Where Superman be going? It's Krypton, right? I don't know why I thought that was Krypton. Then it was Sharknado. Like, wasn't he captured? Because I don't watch any other show besides Flash. So, the last time I seen Sharknado, he was captured. Okay. But that was a great episode of The Flash. Uh, I can't wait to see this Tuesday's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, Man Crush Monday. Well, I'm a Christmas day. Running in that pussy like a crash day. Running in that over touch your toe. Shut that ass from the shade. Bounce that ass on the floor. Bring it back up. Hit a split on the dick. Shout it at that. Bring it back. 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 Bring it back.